Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maurice Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and Pete is here outside of our house. Oh hey there Maury, you have a letter from Reconnect24. So this is the latest DLC. It uh, looks like you've got your mail then. See you again. Oh, just like that. Let's see what have we got today. Um, read. Uh, dear Maury, oh I like the paper. It's... Is that they maple leaves? Uh, thank you for using Reconnect 24. Attach is a present from us. Maple umbrella. Enjoy Reconnect 24. The maple umbrella. We do like our flowery umbrellas. Is this a DLC item? That's pretty cool. <laughs> it kind of does go with our Pikmin outfit. So pretty cool. It's not raining today, but that's definitely awesome to get some new DLC. Um, actually, we have a lot of letters today, so we may as well. Um, get check all of our letters, I suppose. Discard this and this and this, and we'll read. Oh, we've only got one letter. Bell. Po oh, this will be our. Yes, we earned one thousand two hundred fifty bells. Not too much, but it's still better than nothing, I suppose. Right today, we are going to be building, or not building, but. Sorting out our trees, I think. Um, we've got a lot of trees that we want to plant. The maple umbrella is a Gracie item, isn't it? Uh, so we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna keep our, actually we don't need our umbrella today, so we'll put that away as well. But we will need our ax and our shovel, but it's cool. As soon as it rains again, we'll definitely get our maple umbrella out. I love getting the, oh no, is it, oh. We might have forgot to water our turnip. I totally forgot. At least it's not rotten. Um, but yes, I love getting the DLC. Uh, so we'll definitely use that next time it rains. But we are back today and we have a giant red turnip. That's awesome. Okay, so before we get started, um, basically we're going to be sorting this area out today. And we're going to be making a bit more of an organized fruit orchard. We're going to have apples and pears because our trees um well oh it's a cicada basically we've been planting more and more trees to get our town rating up and we'll just go over here to have a look at them actually uh, see how they're doing if we can run over here we've been planting more and more by our town tree uh, town fun uh, oh my goodness town hall sorry um not the town tree that's new leaf town hall here we go so they're all growing a little bit there's just one tree here that didn't grow, but the rest are all growing. And we're having kind of, we're mixing up a little bit, having uh, a variety of fruit trees all around this area. And we're gonna have kind of an organized, dedicated um, fruit orchard just below Nooks, which is the one we'll use to harvest the most uh, to make bells. Oh, uh, weather forecast. It is July now. It looks like the rainy season is about to wrap up. Once it's over, it's gonna get hot. Oh no, the poor flowers. So today is probably the last day of the rainy season then, I guess. It, it looks like it kind of, it's middle of the afternoon. It looks like it has or it will about to rain today. But anyway, let's go and sell our red turnip before we get uh, too distracted. Um, and then we'll get to sorting out our pears and apple trees. I'm excited to do a bit of landscaping and get those sorted. Welcome, please, please, browse all you like. We will, but first, I want to sell my giant red turnip. It's tempting to keep it for Wendell. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Actually, no, we better check, haven't we? We never know, we better check. Let's be sensible here, 16,000 bells. Definitely a good investment. Um, we'll have a check upstairs just briefly of the items. We've got so many items and sets that we want to work with. And it almost doesn't matter what's up here because we shouldn't really buy anything. Uh, oh, is that a little, looks like a little maple. A maple bonsai, that's pretty cute actually. Let's, let's buy that. Um, the rest, everything else, I think we've actually catalogued. So that's fine. Okay, now we can get out and do something I've been wanting to do for a little while. And I kind of hinted at it, at it the other day. And that is to get the... Uh, a bit of an organized fruit orchard up, which is going to be the, the main 
starting point when we want to make some bells, we want to harvest the fruit, because it's going to be near Nooks, but it's not in the northern part of town, really, because it's outside of where all the cedar trees are. And that is this area here. So we're going to need to empty our pockets, actually, so we've got some uh, space to work with. So we're just going to kind of dump all this stuff here, just temporarily. It shouldn't affect our town rating because we're going to pick them up in a little while. Oh yes, I forgot you can put things on the bridges. Weird. Maybe we can put some like gyroids over the bridges or something. Uh, right, let's just start by clearing the weeds and the flowers so we can see how much space we've got to work with. We may want to... We might get away with leaving a few trees where they are actually. Um, thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Let's plan it out with the shovel first, actually. So, this is going to be a bit of a money maker. Uh, hopefully. And I think, actually, I think we might already be onto something. I think we should stagger them. Should we stagger them or should we have lines? Huh. We can't actually come any closer further down, can we? So we would have to start there if we wanted to. Let's just work out where this would go. The trouble is we know where trees will grow if there's already a tree there. I think we might have to try and move them all down one is the only thing. And we've got a tree here, a tree there. This one would have to go. Um, okay, so our path is coming down here, and you know what, we might be able to split it up a little bit, if we just focus on this side for now. Do you know what? I think actually we should harvest them all and just cut all the trees down and go from there. I think it'll be better to start with a blank canvas. I was going to try and keep some of the trees where they were. Um, but they're a bit too awkward. So we're going to have to just drop some here. I love the sound of the cicadas. Now that we're in July, we're starting to hear the cicadas, which is pretty nice. Um, but yes, I don't think the weeds are affecting our town rating just yet. Because uh, they still talk about greenery, so it's definitely to do with the trees. So... Okay, we're going to get rid of these. I was just having to think, do we really want to cut these trees down? Because we will have to let them grow, but I think so. We know where they are. This episode is recorded, so if we do ever decide that these ones don't grow, we can always go back to what was here, can't we? Because uh, we kind of have a record now of where they were. Let's get rid of these trees. It feels good just to chop some trees down, honestly. It's probably a little bit of a weird way of doing it, but we should be able to squeeze an extra line of trees in if we do it this way. So these will have to go. So yeah, today, bit of a, sort of a chilled one, but we are doing some work. Get rid of this one. We should be able to just go in front. I think... Do we grid them or do we stagger them? Staggering would look better, but like, ooh, it's a new butterfly. Oh, we haven't got a net out. Um, oh, we've got plenty of time to catch the butterflies. Let's not worry about those now. Yes, the staggering trees would look nicer, but the gridded trees would be more practical. It would look like a proper orchard, I think. Um, Oh, now there's the question. Do we bring it? Do we now bring them over one? Because we'd have to start staggering them here anyway, wouldn't we? Or do we just leave a gap? There's too many questions. I don't know. I 
don't know what the right thing to do is. Um. I suppose the right thing to do is just to leave a bit of a gap here, isn't it? Um, it's just a bit annoying, actually. Do you know what? I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. We're gonna have to move the holes over like this, I think. And then, if we need to, we can fit another one on the end. Like so. I think it's better to have a little bit of a gap near the cliff. Because these are going to be like designated fruit orchards, so it makes sense to try and keep them as gri like as gridded as possible. And um, for the purpose of what they are, this is the only time I would ever say this about trees, and that's when we're making actual fruit orchards. I think. Like this. That makes sense. We've got nine trees there. Uh, let's get rid of this. There we go. Okay, we might end up having to harvest a lot of these fruits as well. So we're going to be planting a bunch of them as well, but I think we'll have some left over. I love the sound of the cicadas in Animal Crossing. It's just so it's just so cozy. I know I think it probably annoys some people, but I really like it. It just reminds me of playing super late in the evening on Animal Crossing. We don't have them in this country, I don't think, so it's not something uh, I'm used to hearing unless it's in Animal Crossing. Another kind is at least is that another cicada I can hear? Okay, we need some the apple trees have got to go as well. Oops. There we go. We are we are uh, we are <laughs> we are tearing down this uh, natural forest. Uh oh. Ah! Woo! We got away safely from the wasps. I totally forgot that those were a thing. Uh, we've only got a couple more trees to uh, um, sort out anyway. So we'll go go back now and chop the rest of the trees down. This is just a, it's a bit of a chore, but it's kind of a fun laid back chore, isn't it? I love the cicadas. I literally, I just don't even want to disturb them. As if there was a, a wasp in the one tree. That wasn't a fruit tree. Okay, so that's all of this area cleared. I think it matters about the oranges, really. Like we could probably just eat the oranges just to get rid of them. There you go. Have a tasty orange. And another one. This is too much fun. Chopping trees shouldn't be this fun, should it? Time for the hard work. Oh, there we go. Um, so I'm thinking if we were to extend the trees one more, we could go there. And I think we could bring the path all the way down if we wanted to, like into the center of the orchard. Right, 
There we go. I'm sure most of these will grow. Some of them probably won't. It's going to be really annoying if, like, one of the gridded ones don't grow. Um, we'll put another line in just in case that's what we decide to do. Let's see where these fall. Oh, we might have to get rid of the cedar tree. We got enough. Um... I didn't really want to get rid of the cedar tree, but, you know, this is the orchard we're working on here. So, we have got an extra line if we wanted to work on to expand it a little bit. I kind of want to keep it um, as even as possible. So, we've only got three, a width of three and a width of three. So, we could... For now, get rid of this line. We could put them in at a later date. We do want as many trees here as possible, to be fair. Um, so we could plant those at a later date. I'm trying to decide. What's that a different? Oh, it's Filbert. What are you doing down there? I'm trying to think if we do. Do we do pears here? And apples here or do we do apples pears and do it like that or apples pears peaches because it's going to be an orchard so do we do we want them in bulk i think we're going to end up having to put these ones back in aren't we decisions decisions there's no way to fill or squeeze another line in is there unless unless we don't leave a gap for the path because then we could come in a tile here here and then here but I think it would be quite nice to have a bit of a path here I feel like it would make it bigger it would give it some purpose it would lead us down into the orchard um. oh this is hard this is harder than I thought it would be I'm now considering if we staggered them we might be able to get more in but I think we'll stick with what we've got for now let's put the let's stay with how they were we'll grow the pears here um Actually, I think we're going to put them in rows. Pear. 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 We're almost certainly going to have to try and grow some more of these afterwards. I don't think they're all going to survive. Pear. Pear. We'll have to go and grab another pear. And then we'll do a row of apples. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. No, we're gonna we're gonna keep it. If we do the different lines like that, they're gonna it's gonna be too mix and match like it is around the town hall. So we'll keep apples on this side. It's our new town tune. And maybe because we haven't got cherries yet, so maybe we can make another orchard with peaches and cherries somewhere. Once this is done, right? We need some. Oh, we need some more apples. Hey, Wendy, how are you, how are you doing? Oh, you got your shovel out as well. You're helping. Hey, Pookie. So, have you ever noticed how we always kind of greet people like that? Well, I'm trying to be more of a lady, and I think the folks around here are a little uh, uh, here are ready for a little more of from me. So, Pookie, do you have any great ideas? Uh, I got nothing. 
Not gonna lie. I'm too busy. I'm sure you can come up with something though. Oh no, we've upset Wendy. Oh no, Wendy, relax. We can help if you want. So sad, so sad. Okay, I'm sorry, but you could come and help cheer you up if you want. Right, we're gonna put all pears this side. And it's gonna be all apples that side. It's just gonna be a bit more of an organized mess rather than the random mess it was before. I just hope they all grow. Um, I don't think they will. But we can try. Probably planting this many won't grow anyway. So tomorrow we're going to find out the ones that didn't grow because we planted too many. And the ones that won't grow because the tile is a dead tile. Um, right, we need six more apples. Oh, I'm glad you're over it, Wendy. In rage, in protest, Wendy is stomping over our newly planted pear trees. <laughs> okay, we've got some more apples down here. So I'm just going to go restock um, with some apples. <laughs> This would be another good place for an orchard, really. If we decide to plant like a cherry farm or something when we eventually get cherries, if we ever do. I'm sure we will one day. I just love the sound of the cicada. Are you okay now, Wendy? Why can't laundry just like wash itself? Is that too much to ask? Walk in time, walk in time, time to get all fit and stuff. Sunny, I just ate like 50 pounds of ice cream brochet, so I feel kind of bloated. I'm not surprised. Oh no, brioche, brioche is it, brioche. I'm not uh, educated on desserts. I'm educated on planting apples, for now anyway. So we can't go a extra tile this way, but we can go an extra tile down. So we will still 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. We'll still have the same amount. We're just using our space as wisely as possible. Okay, just the perfect amount of... Um, Apples. So we've planted 20, 3, 6, 9, 12, 24. I hope they all uh, grow. There we go. We've extended our path a little bit. It just separates it. It gives it kind of... The infrastructure some purpose as well. Um, since we're working on trees and paths, we might as well adjust our house like we wanted to originally. Um, I decided because of its location, uh, I don't really regret buying this one, but I do kind of find it a bit awkward to design the paths around it. So for that reason, I'm gonna go with how we've done the villager houses uh, and see what that looks like and put these this path around it. I think it just it'll make it look a bit more uni uniform um, and it'll make the diagonal path that we did have look a little bit better. I hope anyway. There we go. No don't edit it. Uh, oh, we might have to give ourselves a bit of a garden here. We're going to give ourselves a tree in the garden. <laughs> um, so we might have to get rid of this. We're going to give ourselves a bit of a generous garden. 
because we can bring this all the way down and it will look a little bit more normal. Oops. Like so. And we can just round it off like that. And we've got a bit of a garden. And then we can add our path here. We are going to... No, why did they go on a different one? Um... Oh, we could have left that, that one there, actually. Uh, we are going to update this tile path at some point this week as well. But I think this looks loads better, actually. You know... Um, we can, if we want, we can plant some more trees here. Not today. Get rid of this one. We won't plant the trees today because we've already planted a whole bunch of trees. Um, but I think it's okay to join these up perpendicularly. Or is that the right word? You know where it joins on. Uh, like a, a straight tangent like that um, because it connects the path I think so I don't think we're going to get any more trees in here but we could use some flowers so let's go and buy some flowers and we'll see which seeds we can get outside of our house um, it would be nice to have some hybrids there but we're still kind of using them for the garden shop and other areas at the moment we haven't really got too many uh, so we're just going to buy all the flowers and then we'll see what we've got the most of. I'd like to use pansies actually, if I, if I can. Oh yes, yellow pansy, there we go. So at the very least we've got one pansy we can put there, but we can, we can get some from somewhere else. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's quite nice to, when you have a little project like this, to eventually get it done. And we are still kind of making it up as we go along, but... <laughs> What else can you do? You have to be as... I mean, I'm not the most creative person, but you do have to try and be as creative as possible uh, in this game because you're very limited on what we can actually achieve. Oh, I can't buy the last one. Um, maple bonsai. Okay, let's buy. What is the last one? If it's a pansy, we're in trouble. White rose. Okay, we can leave that one. So at the very least we've got one one pansy. We can we can steal some pansies from somewhere else, but I think I'd like pansies in our garden for now. Probably my favourite flower in Animal Crossing. I like that they kind of they, they, they seem a bit more detailed than some of the other flowers. Um let's see, we've got tulip. Pansy, tulip, rose, pansy, cosmos, okay. Oh, we've got some uh, cicadas doing a sing-off or something. <laughs> are they singing? I don't know if that, if that is what they are. What is that noise? Why, why do they do that noise? Is it the don't attack me noise? Maybe. Uh, you gotta help me out, Pookie! I spent my entire allowance on fried ice cream and now I'm out of cash. You bought this sweet checkered tile for 1,445 bells. It would really help me out. Okay then. We've already upset one villager. We don't want to upset another villager today, do we? There you go. Enjoy the cash. Uh, thanks, Pookie. You really saved me. No problem. Anytime. You caught me in a good mood. Um. White pansy. Try and randomize it. We've got another yellow one plant and another red one. I knew that was going to go there. Okay, so this is our little house. Um, I think that will be okay. Okay, we could put another tile here. It's a shame we haven't got like a 
a human footprint we could put outside the human houses. But there we go, we've got a, a nice little garden. The, the grass now, hopefully, should grow back here and here, maybe. We try really hard to stick to the path. Very nice little area. I think that looks so much better than um, than when we had diagonal path. For some reason, it, because we can't do like transparent paths, the diagonal path of this game just looks so weird in the wrong place. And this is definitely the wrong place because we couldn't have a straight diagonal path. So I have to go diagonal, 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 and then we did a, a jump. So it's kind of missing a tile. We need a tile on this tile, really. We can't put one there. Uh, so that's as best as we can get. I think it looks much better like this. So, hey, Wendy. Hope you're okay. I'm going to avoid you now. Uh, but yes, we've also planted our organized, gridded fruit orchard, which is going to be the main supply of our bells going forward. Because uh, it's right next to nooks. It's going to be easy to farm them and harvest them and head back and sell them. And we could do something similar to this with peaches and cherries if we ever find cherries somewhere else around town. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Do you, would you have preferred staggered trees or are you happy with the gridded trees? I'm not sure how many of these will grow, but hopefully they will. And then of course, um, we just adjusted our little front garden here. I think it looks pretty cool. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed an episode where we just kind of was digging holes basically and chopping down trees. Quite satisfying though. I enjoyed it, so I hope you did too. Thanks so much for watching. And thank you, of course, huge thank you to the channel members for making this possible. Couldn't do it without you. And you're super, super awesome. I hope you know that. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!